off. Oh, yeah? That's what I want to say. He's going to go off. He, I think he had 20 points last week. Uh, Gothard? I'm sorry. I was... Can we stop What now? the f***? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't stop. We got to start that one over. Oh, we okay, do? Why did you f*** the clock, too? No, I was, I, was, I was talking to them for a second, so oh. I didn't hear what you said. What did you, well, what did you ask? That's okay. Just restart that's fine. the f***ing clock, dude. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't trying to cuss at you, and I'm sorry that's about that. Good, I, good. Please give me points. Um... <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I'm just like one of their parents forgetting their names or well, something. Well, and, and you don't love either of them. That's the thing, so it doesn't, yeah, really, it doesn't matter. really matter. Yeah, like a regular parent. Parents say, oh, which one do you like more? Neither. I know it's Joe Flacco, not Jim Flacco. How about I get a point for that? It's not Joey Flacco, Andy <laughs> Dalton. <laughs> Prop two, number 22, USC goes to Austin to play the Texas Lajones on Saturday in a rematch of the historic 2006 Rose Bowl that everybody loves so much. But more importantly, a big game in Austin means one thing, Sarah, mm -hmm. and you know what that means. Yeah. The prop. Will or won't Texas super fan Matthew McConaughey be shown on TV at the game on Saturday? Uh, a thousand percent he will. I think this is a lock bet. If you're going to put on any money, I think for sure, even if he's not at the game, they will show him. That's how much they love saying, it's all a live right, stream all from right, home? all right, all right. I'm not even kidding. This bet is more than all right, all right, all right. I cannot stand how many times. There should be an over under on the amount of times the announcers say, all right, all right, all side right. Prop. Side, side prop. Side prop. That's side prop for I us. I think over three times. Okay, but in the meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, I'm going to say it's uh, under under two, first of all, for our side prop okay. bet. We'll get to the wager in a second. There is literally no chance they're going to show him on TV. He's not going to be there because he's out cruising around town in his brand new Lincoln. <laughs> Promoting his movie White Boy Rick, that's gonna come out and bomb. Okay, he's not gonna be on TV. <laughs> it's gonna come out it's not and gonna bomb. Be, it's gonna bomb. There's no doubt. I saw the trailer. Doesn't look good. And okay. on top of that, Austin uh, is moved up in the national ranking as far as one of the best universities in the country. They moved yeah. to, to, to number 15 in the U.S. News. Now that's not good. Look, I went to Arizona State. We were ranked 115. Very <laughs> stupid people. Very hot women. McConaughey doesn't want to be around smart, ugly girls. That's not true. They he showed won. him at Arizona State games. That's how much. That's what I'm saying. He's going to go to our game. He's not going to, he's not going <laughs> yeah. to Texas. He's going He's to not Texas. going to waste his time in Texas anymore. They got these smart fives. He wants to see stupid tens. <laughs> Come on to Tempe, McConaughey. I'll welcome you with open arms, kiddo. <laughs> Stupid tens. That's like me. I'm a stupid seven. That should be your nickname. Stupid tens. Stupid tens. Yeah. yeah. No, not not me. Not me. I'm a yeah. stupid seven. But I'll take it. Six and a half. Hey, eight and a half you back know, in Chicago. I'm going to say, uh, I, for sure, show. they're going to show him. Uh, just, be, uh, you know, it's USC. It's Hollywood. So anytime it's USC versus anybody, they like to show celebrities on the sidelines. That's a tradition that Pete Carroll started. They're definitely going to do that in Texas, in Austin, mm. especially. They're, even if he's not at the game, they'll just show his speech from last year to the team when he was in the clubhouse. It'll be a live feed. He's not going to be on TV. I think it's I won happening. that one, Gothard. No, Gothard, you know better, don't you? No, I think you did win it because who doesn't love himself some Matthew McConaughey? <sighs> and if he's at the game, you're right, it's Hollywood. They're going to be showing him. If he can make it to Clay Clayton Kershaw's ping pong tournament, he's going to be at that game. So I'll give you seven. That's a touchdown. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. Seven. And to mention Clayton Kershaw's ping pong tournament blasphemy. Are these men or these little <laughs> basement boys like I was in middle school? I, I'm really impressed that Gother did more research than we did. Yeah, no doubt. He brought out Clayton it's Kershaw. That's knowledge. what we pay him to do. Sleep in that closet and do research, Gother. It's Stay there. Here. Next up, what is it, Okay. Miss Tiana? <sighs> Bills quarterbacks Nathan Peterman and Josh Allen went 11 for 33 with zero touchdowns and two picks in their 47 to 3 dumpster fire loss to the Ravens in mm. week one. Mm. The prop. Will the Bills QBs have more offensive t touchdowns than interceptions this Sunday at home against the Chargers? I mean, I think you answered that just by the question itself. <laughs> Come on. Well. These two kids fighting for a position that no one should want. Embarrassing, terrible football. I got to tell you something. There's going to be more picks thrown. There's going to be a pick six parade. Oh, it's gonna yeah? It's going to be so much fun to celebrate. Yeah, in Buffalo, right? Isn't this game in Buffalo? Uh, this it's, game It's got to be. It's going to be happening in Buffalo. Uh, it's going to be a pick six parade. It's going to be embarrassing. They're going to throw a bunch of a bunch of interceptions. I feel like this is going to be the, uh, the Legion of Boom. Uh, the Legion of Boom is going to make its return. I think the secondary is going to wake up. Uh, I think it's going to be just a, a pick parade. I, I think they're just going to throw a bunch of the same crap that they threw in week one. Um, and I, Jason Barrett, uh, Pro Bowl uh, corner, he's going to just be up, 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 eating balls out of the air. <laughs> like Pac-Man. He's going to be Pac-Man. Up, 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 oh, up. Yeah, yeah oh, he's going to okay. lose his mind and have a good time. And I can't give any credit to a city that pretends they invented hot sauce and Worcestershire sauce combined. I don't, you know. Yeah, we put it on wings. Big deal. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares. Is that what wing sauce is? Yeah, it's Worcestershire sauce and hot sauce. It's not. They act like it's a special, secret, uh, fun sauce. It's not. Okay. Worcestershire hot sauce. I made it at home with a little bit of vinegar and a bunch of butter. Is that how you got your hair that color? This is precisely what I put in every day. <laughs> the makeup woman? Yeah. 
that's what she puts on my face, and then I go to hair, and they do the same uh, thing. You're insane. First of all, the Chargers had minus three points in fantasy on defense last week. Just week one. Uh, I know it's week one, and everyone's tired, but the Chargers are not going to be less tired going to Buffalo. Mm -hmm. If anything, uh, just by being in Buffalo alone, they're going to be sleeping on the field because <laughs> nobody wants to do anything in Buffalo, sure. especially go to a football game. I'll be shocked if the Chargers even show up to the football game, and that's how the Bills might end up winning. So there will definitely be more touchdowns than interceptions. Zero interceptions from the Chargers D, who were completely overrated before fantasy this year. They were overrated, but now they have to prove themselves after what happened to them to Kansas City, okay? Hill ran all over them. That's not going to happen anymore. They're going to wake up. They're going to show up. They're going to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed in Buffalo. No. And they're going to be... No. Shady McCoy is going to just get... He's going to catch court, you know. Shady it's going to be so many interceptions. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Okay, Gothard. Gothard. I don't know how it's possible that you lost this argument. I mean, <laughs> Nathan Peterman's so bad, he's obviously going to lose. That's what I said. I said Jason. he was hard. I said you. It's hard to. It's hard to debate a question that's already terrible. Is yeah, he throw when you're, interceptions? Yeah, he if just you're yes. giving out false information, you automatically lose. Jason Brett's out for this season, so I got to oh. give you a point. I'm sorry. Woo! All right, we're moving it's on, just guys. One point, but I'll take it. Sorry, I'm not paying enough attention. <laughs> I'm too. I need to be paying more attention. I need to be paying. The problem is, Gothard you're such attention. a good bullshitter. I believed you bought everything it. that you said. That's a good point. You bought it. It's your turn. I know it is. I'm upset at you. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm, a, I'm here in a closet, so you can only be so upset. Yeah. You're going to stay in the closet. <laughs> Next prop Tom Brady. Tom. Uh, Tommy. AFC Championship rematch this Sunday, but Patriots in Jacksonville this time, last January's game. The Jags blew. A 20 and 10 fourth quarter lead to Captain Comeback Tom Brady. The prop will or won't Tom Brady lead another fourth quarter comeback to beat the Jags on Sunday? I say he won't because mm. they'll already be ahead in the yeah. fourth. So there's no comeback that's going to need to be happening. Uh, the Patriots are great on the road. Even though they're terrible in Florida, they usually lose to Miami in Miami. I think they'll beat Jacksonville in Jacksonville handily. Um, I don't think, also usually in the fourth quarter, uh, it's a running game and uh, there are, they're just going to be running it anyway. So even if he wanted to lead a comeback, um, he couldn't throw the ball because he has no receivers this year. <laughs> he has Chris Hogan and that's it. And I have Chris Hogan on fantasy and he didn't throw shit to him this last, well, he didn't catch shit, this, I should say that. Yeah, that sounds right. So uh, yeah, I don't think that he's going to lead a, a comeback. Um, you don't think the because greatest they'll already be ahead. comeback king was going to leave? lead a comeback because you think they'll be ahead. I think they'll be ahead in the fourth. That's a valid argument, but just for the sake of this show, I have, <laughs> to, I have to go against you. Okay. And obviously say that the greatest quarterback to ever pick up a football, that's right, I said it, mm -hmm. I'm not afraid, is going to storm a marvelous comeback. I feel comeback. like you're going to get hit with lightning or something. <laughs> he is going to put together such a comeback, it's going to be one for the books. I got to tell you, they're going to be down by 50 points. <laughs> It's going to be bad. Because Jalen Ramsey is just going to pick six him the it's whole It's going to be unbelievable. Yeah. And then Brady's gonna, just going to wake up. He's going to see Giselle up there waving to him. Do good for me. <laughs> you know? It's going gonna, it's gonna to just give uh -huh. him a new life. Um, and he's going to storm a momentous comeback. That will be one that we'll talk about forever. And our kids, 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 we'll say, do you remember that game? Mm -hmm. Do you remember that unbelievable fourth quarter comeback that TB had? God, he is a God. And thank God we have him. And. And you know, you know what? I, I don't believe this myself, but I have to try. I have to try, because mm -hmm. that's the whole game. But he is going to storm a comeback. Okay. It's going to be a big deal. As a Falcons fan, I can say that I know what a Tom Brady comeback looks like. And I yeah. think uh, now that he's 41 years old, he's done with comebacks. He's just going to lead the whole game. I don't want that to be true, but I own him in fantasy, so it is. Gothard. Gothard. All right, well, you guys can doubt Tom Brady all you want. I'm not going to do it on television. You walk away with that one. I'm going to give you three because point, the point spread's three. So Thank you, you so three. much. I appreciate that very much. I know much. what the point spread is. Good job, Gothard. Attention. Maybe we should get our notes from him yeah, why, <laughs> instead of whoever wrote these. you instead of the guys that wrote these. <laughs> all right. Sunday night, we've got a classic NFC East showdown mm -hmm. between the Giants and the Cowboys. That also means... Young fantasy studs Zeke Elliott and Saquon Barkley will face off the prop. Will Zeke Elliott have more fantasy points than Saquon Barkley on Sunday night? Saquon Barkley is going to go off. What else do you need to know? The guy had 20 points last week. I think he had 100 yards. 
This is only gonna continue and get richer, okay? It's only gonna get richer <laughs> yeah. for him. Have you seen that guy's legs? Did he have 20 They're the size of, yeah, I think he had 20 points. His 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 legs are the size of my torso. Uh -huh. um, he's a beast, he's a mammoth. I can't wait to see him. Also, uh, uh, there's gonna be no balls in the air. It's gonna be all on the ground because uh, Odell Beckham is getting tempted uh, by supermodel Lindsay Payless to hit him up oh. in his DMs. Yeah, did you see this? Oh, she said, slide into my DMs. <laughs> Odell's gonna be on his phone before the whole game. Oh, okay. He's not gonna be running around looking to catch Then that means he's gonna have his phone in his hand because he always wears those sticky gloves. Sticky glove hands. Oh, maybe that's why she wants be, to go out with him. That's exactly right. Okay, well, Zeke's obviously gonna get the ball because if anybody's not throwing, it's Dak Prescott after that terrible showing last week against the Panthers. So I would say that Zeke is gonna be running all over the place. He's really their only offensive weapon right now without Des Bryant. So I would say Zeke is a thousand percent gonna score more than Saquon because he is not a rookie and Saquon is. Rookies have more to prove, always. Oh. Always. Oh yeah? Yeah, spotlight's on you. In Dallas? Spotlight's on you. Isn't... Rookies always have something to prove. Mm -hmm. You gotta show everybody why you were such an important pick, why you got paid so money, why you were the name that everyone wants to talk about all the time. Mm -mm. Saquon has everything to prove, okay? Zeke's just gotta keep himself afloat. He's gotta keep everyone's attention. No. Zeke's in front of a hometown crowd in Dallas, Jerry Jones, Looking down on him, Jerry Jones just spitting fire after that loss to Bruce Carolina. Toe in the first five minutes. Bruce well, Toe in the first five minutes. That's what's gonna happen. Bruce just, Toe. Bruce Toe the first five minutes. Okay. That's it. No. That field that they built isn't as nice as they projected to be. <laughs> Bruce Toe. No. I Zeke's think, out. I think the best performance Saquon gave was at the draft in Dallas this last summer, and that's the last performance. You saw what he Dallas. did in week one. He's just gonna repeat and double up. I'm, I, you know what? Side bet. Three touchdowns. Three rushing touchdowns. Side bet? Side bet. I'll take that bet. Go ahead, what is it? Okay, the bet Call is it. I get to choose your pants as well. You get to choose my shirt and my pants. And I get to choose pants. your shirt and your pants. Three touchdowns, Double that's or it. Nothing. Double or nothing, that's it. Okay, three touchdowns. Got them. Wow, well first I was blown away, Santino, by your stats that you throw at me, but then to know you're watching TMZ to the point where you know who OBJ's hooking up with? <laughs> Thank you. That's a touchdown, man. You're Thank taking you so the lead much. right what? now. Yes! No! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Man. By the I, way, it was I all over ESPN as well. Sure. Everybody was talking about this. And Lindsey Payless is hitting him up saying, slide into my DMs. And, and by the way, if it's that big news, you know Odell's paying attention. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Odell's paying attention. He's getting too horny to play football. Hmm. Monday Night Football over under. Khalil Mack, the Mack truck. I love you, baby. You know I got love for you, but I'm not happy with what, what just happened uh, against the Packers. And the Bears... We host the Seahawks Monday night in the home opener. The Seahawks offensive line had a rough first week, giving up six sacks. Aye. Three of them. <laughs> Devon Miller. Aye. The prop. Will Khalil Mack have over or under two and a half sacks Monday night against the Seahawks? Sarah. Over. Okay. Mm. If anything, if Khalil Mack likes anything, it's sniffing out a running quarterback. He f hates those dudes. Mm -hmm. And that's all Russell Wilson's going to be able to do against that defensive line. So I think I think the Bears looked incredible this last week. I think uh, it was obvious. Uh, it's very difficult to to play against Aaron Rodgers even on one leg. I I, I would lose against Aaron Rodgers on two legs. So I think uh, you know that's not the, that's not what I wanted to say, but it doesn't matter. Regardless, <laughs> the Bears look great, and Khalil Mack is going to get over two and a half sacks. Well. All I gotta say is there's uh, there's no chance he's gonna get over two and a half. He's gonna get under two and a half. He's probably gonna get one sack. Um, you saw what happened to the Bears defense uh, in the second half of the Packers game. Um, they just got stuffed. And you double team, you know, you double team a guy like Lil, and it's over. And I'm not talking about Gothard's Sunday fun day when I refer <laughs> to double teaming. <laughs> They yeah. are going to shut down Khalil Mack without a doubt. Yeah. Uh, he is not going to be able to come to come after Russ because after what happened, these guys had a talk. You can't let pretty boy Russ Russ get touched six times in a game. You can't do that. He's your money man. Mm -hmm. You got to let you you got to protect him, and they're going to protect him. That's what they care about. They know Khalil. Everyone is eyeballs on Khalil Mack and what he's going to do game to game. So. The, all their defensive strategy, all their offensive defensive strategy yeah. is going to be around protecting cute little, beautiful Russ Russ and his gorgeous no. milk chocolate skin. Sorry, but the... And his Seattle, cute curly hair. Seattle defense looked good last weekend. Seattle offense, not so much. And I think a big part of that was the O-line and Russ scrambling everywhere. I think Mac's going to get a hold of that. So I say over two and a half. I think that's a safe bet for this week. Under two and a half is the best bet that you can make, kids. Make sure you go under. Blue <laughs> Mac's going to get shut down again, just like Arbeos fell victim.
the second half to the pack show. I'm still hurt about it. I'm still hurt. I'm so hurt about <laughs> no, it. No, I me? feel you. Hurts I my feel feelings. you. Aaron Rodgers comes back and does his thing. Which, by the way, I know they say he hurt a leg, but I really don't. I don't think he was that hurt. I think it was like a little bruise. I think yeah, he just. It was, I think it was dramatic. Take a nap in the. Yeah. In the I think I think his new girlfriend, Danica Patrick, who they kept showing on TV. Ugh. Who cares? Over under on that for next week. How yes. many times? How many I guarantee times? she's not at the next game. Though. No, she no. She's out driving. No, she's, she's out driving around town. Yeah, she's, she's out driving me she's nuts. She's out on a date with her actual girlfriend, who she cares about. Woo, <laughs> Gothard! Hot take. All right. Well, I think uh, I think I'm going to go with, with Sarah because uh, Cleo Mack looked amazing last week, and I just think he's going to keep it going. So I'll give okay. you one point for that. It's funny. One point. Well, it's funny just one. I'm just one. <laughs> on Monday night, the 70th primetime Emmys, which you can bet on just like it's sports. Making its return this year to one of the most loaded categories, best drama series, is Game of Thrones. Mm. The prop, will or won't Game of Thrones win the Emmy for Outstanding Drama Series? Will not. What? Will not. I don't know if you've seen This Is Us that I made a cameo in, both the pilot and the first episode of the second <laughs> I season. I did not. I was on This Is Us, and I don't know if you've seen this show, but it's a tearjerker. It's beautiful. I, I laugh, I cry, I pass gas, all in about a minute and a half. And that's before mm -hmm. they even get into the show. That's just the credit roll. <laughs> It's one of the best dramatic shows I've ever seen on television. Game of Thrones has no room to win again. It's already won. Good God, I wish I knew the stats on this. Uh, I think in one year it got nominated for 16 Emmys. Enough. We've had enough. It's eight seasons too many. I've never seen one episode. I talked to the crew about this beforehand. You've <laughs> never seen an episode of Game of Thrones? No why business. I have well. no business watching a show about incest. As a good young Irish Catholic boy, <laughs> I don't support incestual dragon oh, shows. Oh, sure. Okay? <laughs> Sorry, but I just don't. Oh. Oh. This Is Us is going to take it because it's a beautiful show with beautiful actors, some of whom of which I'm actually personal friends with. So. All right. I should stab you for the watch right now. Okay. Or the watch. Okay. Okay? You don't know what that is? I don't know what that is. Because you're an idiot. Because it's fantasy but goofball time. Game of Thrones is up against This Is Us. Beautiful show. Nobody knows about that. Beautiful show. Westworld, nobody understands that. The Crown, nobody gives a fuck about The Crown. The bad accent, uh, beautiful and, show. And Maid's Tale, uh, which is. And Maid's Tale, which is know happening why right now. Handmaids have a tale. Uh, the Americans, which maybe could probably win just because it's America and Stranger Things, have not happened. Game of Thrones always wins mm -hmm. uh, because it's the best show on television. Which People is are why... sick of winners winning all the time. Oh, yeah? People are tired of winners That's winning true. all the time. Nobody likes Meryl Streep to win an Oscar. Nobody likes the Patriots. I'm tired of Streepy, too. <laughs> I think Streepy's gotten her count. Head home. Yeah. John Legend was uh, all over TV bragging about uh, his, his uh, getting another Emmy. It's enough. We yeah. give these people too many trophies. Right. Okay. I, I think Kobe will win the Emmy before this is us. No Kobe offense. will. Kobe will win the Emmy. <laughs> Kobe will win, and he won't even enter. They'll just give it to him. <laughs> he's the man. Yeah, Game of this is us. Congratulations way. on on yet another uh, yet another Emmy and yeah. a great series, and going up against a series that's totally dead and over. Yeah. And and this is us wasn't based on books. It was just based on heart. Dan Fogelman wrote it from his heart. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Winter Gotham. is coming, and so well, is that was Emmy. beautiful. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it to you, Sarah, because uh, Game of Thrones had 22 nominations this year, breaking a record. Uh, I'm gonna give you a field goal there. But Andrew, if you wanted to put 100 bucks on This Is Us, you could win three grand. So keep that in mind. Ooh. Ah, I shall. Yeah. I shall do that. I shall support. I shall support uh, This Is Us, and I'm gonna put 100 bucks on it. How about that? I'm gonna put 100 bucks, and we'll find you out next week. I need the money. <laughs> I know you do. We're running tightly. <laughs> okay. The wow card, will or won't. Okay. The Browns and the Steelers played 70 minutes of uninspiring nonsense in week one, ending a 21 20, ending in a 21 to 21 tie. Mm -hmm. As we all know, the first tie in NFL since October of 2016. The final prop, will or won't there be another tie in the NFL this season? Wait, the last one was in 2016? October of 2016. Oh, then yeah, there's definitely gonna be another one then. If the year starts off with a tie, then that's 16 more games. Is that an omen? Tie. You begin with a tie, you, you shall You get have... in with a tie. Oh. And uh, I honestly think that there, there are a lot of teams this year when you're going, when I'm looking at the, 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 the teams to pick, when I'm trying to pick between teams this year, where you're like, oh, Tampa Bay, who I didn't expect to be good, is playing San Francisco, who I also don't expect to be good, but who is better than I thought they would be, or like the Vikings. Like, there's a lot of evenly matched teams. There's no, it's very difficult to find more than one lock per week. Usually when you're in a suicide pool, you can find, you're like, oh, for sure, I'm gonna take the Rams against the Raiders, which was a safe bet this week, but it's not, 
it's no, it's only, that was, there were like two safe bets I felt like this whole last week. So I feel like because everything's so evenly matched, there's definitely gonna be a tie. The only place there won't be a tie is probably Detroit. And that's just because Matt Patricia is so casual that there's no ties allowed anywhere. Boom. A wardrobe joke. I like it. There will definitely not be another tie if I have anything to do with it because it's disgusting. It shouldn't happen in sports. Oh. It definitely shouldn't happen in football. I think ties are I think are it'll happen bonkers. at the Super Bowl. I think no. it'll be a tie. You think a Super Bowl tie? Super Bowl you think there's going to be a Super Bowl tie? <laughs> ties shouldn't happen in sports in the first place. There's not going to be another tie. Yeah. Okay. Teams are going to be conscious of this. Uh, Cleveland should not even remotely celebrate an 0 and then a 1 on, on, on your record. I think it's it's a scathing, ugly birthmark that you should get removed immediately. <laughs> a tie is disgusting. It's not a W, Cleveland. Don't celebrate that. It's not a loss. Yes, it is a loss in my opinion. There should be a winner it's and a loser. It's more of a loss for Pittsburgh than it is for Cleveland. No, it's a loss for Cleveland too because that's sad. That's ju it's just sad. Did you win? No. Did you lose? No, but we came close and we did as well as the other fellas. Get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here. I, I don't believe in ties. I think it's ridiculous. They need to remove it. The NFL yeah. needs to get it together. And there won't be another tie because teams will be thinking about this. This will be this will be on their brain. Do we want to be embarrassed and have that third category number? No. That's disgusting. It's either win or lose. That's sports, Gothard. It was passion. Wardrobe joke was amazing. Yeah, Atlanta. But unfortunately, <gasps> I'm speaking for all football fans. We I just am hoping for not a tie ever, ever again. again. So we're giving it to Santino. Santino with the game-winning field goal. Yes! Take it away. Congratulations, man. I need music. <laughs> yeah. I want my own ginger win music. Yeah, maybe you could get that like sappy music that they play behind us while we're like giving our debate. Like, like, like the Emmy speech though. We should get music to play us out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a little bit of music. A uh, little bit of music here would be really nice. Well, that was fun. It was so fun. Listen, I'm sorry I had to take this one this week and maybe you'll Maybe you'll bounce back next week. We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm sure I'll bounce back next week <laughs> oh. and I'll be wearing whatever. And I'll be wearing whatever outfit I want to wear because, Maybe. and you'll be wearing some sort of weird bathing suit thong with a uh, clown makeup and I don't know. <laughs> I haven't decided. Okay, good. That's when you good decide, point. you let me but know. But the best thing is there are so many Halloween superstores everywhere open right now that I'm going to dress you up in. Good. So, uh, good. hope you guys enjoyed it this week. We'll see you next week. I bet you'll be back. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Props on the Yahoo YouTube page. Yeah, please subscribe because we need more viewers and that's how we stay alive and eat and feed our families. <laughs> New shows come out every Wednesday and don't forget to hit the like button right below our beautiful faces right here. That'll help us out too. Yeah. Props to you if you do it right.